Hello everybody, it's me Angel Benton and it's time for another Angel Sudsy recap and today we are talking all about General Hospital because this weekend I was so blessed I got to go to the General Hospital um, convention. I know, right? Now, I'm not going to lie, I took a lot of heat for that. A lot of people are like, are you really seriously going to that? I'm like, yes, I'm going to that. I'm a soap fan and I'm proud. Okay, so I went, to, and not just that, but let's be real. I've been watching General Hospital since 1978, right? I, I'm pretty, I'm, I know pretty much the whole story, so I get it, right? I will say this, though. <clears throat> well, okay, I'll get to that in a second. Okay. So here are my overall thoughts of the convention. Okay, first of all, I'm very glad that they had the convention. I thought it was a great opportunity to see a lot of... God, I had a <clears throat> had a whole bunch of just mucus go in my mouth all of a sudden. That was awful. Okay, so I here's the thing. I got to see a lot of the um, players, the big players from um, General Hospital, like the showrunner Frank Valentini and M.K. Weir, who's one of the producers. I got to talk to her. And I got to talk to her about General Hospital and Days of Our Lives. She was so she was the best. She was the best. Um, and I also got to see who else. There was some. There was another one too that was really important. We got the producer, the well, the executive producer. I don't remember, but it was just great. It was just awesome. It was really cool seeing those people. I thought it was really awesome. Okay. Now, having said that, it, everything cost, all, I mean, this was an expensive, expensive, expensive weekend. It really was. Because, you know, I got a gold ticket. Now, my gold ticket was not cheap. It was not cheap at all, right? Okay, whatever. So I shelled out quite a bit of money for my gold ticket. But I will. But okay, here's the best part about the gold ticket. The and this is what this is what made my trip, and it totally made um. <clears throat> it just made it worthwhile. Uh, on the set of, I mean, well, I got to tour the set of General Hospital. I mean, that would that paid that that paid for the whole gold ticket. It was. Awesome. And not just that. So, okay, so the very first thing we have to do is we have to go and take a bus tour of the set of General Hospital. Only the only the gold ticket. I honestly, I felt like one of those kids in Willy Wonka, right? As we were walking onto the set, I'm like, oh my God, I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, I'm so excited, right? Uh, I felt like a little kid. It was so awesome. Anyway, well, okay, let's rewind. So you have to pay for parking, but being from Southern California, not just from Southern California, I'm from that area, I totally found free parking and I walked. I don't care. I don't care. I wasn't going to pay for parking. I had to pay for so much of other, other stuff. I'm not going to pay for parking. So then we get on this bus and I swear to God, this bus driver was the absolute worst. He didn't to went on the freeway where there was all this traffic and all this construction making things go so slowly, I was like, you realize that we could have totally taken surface streets and got there much faster, right? Just, just want to, just, I'm just saying. We got off at the freeway and I'm thinking, oh, this is great. We went through my, where I grew up in my neighborhood, like literally the gas station where I went to, we went right, I mean, we were right there, right? So I was just... I just decided to start, you know, giving a tour to the people that I was in my seating area just to show them because they were none of them were from the area. So I was just letting them know what what was going on. It was great. Um, none of them were even from California, except for this lovely couple. I want to give a shout out to Patty and Rick from Menifee, California. I love them. They are awesome. Patty is a pistol, right? You piss her off and she will she will. She will get on to you until she gets her way. I love her. I think she's great. Okay, so anyways. So I got to point out like the zoo and the 
the Autry History Museum. But, like, the thing about all of this is that... And then we got right back on the freeway. After we waited through all this traffic, the zoo traffic... I mean, it was the worst. I was like, oh, my God. I know exactly where we're going. Because I know what studio that General Hospital films at. I, I know where it is. But... Uh, we had to go through so much crap to get there. It was, and then, and the best part was, we come home a completely different way, and we get uh, we get home in like ten minutes. But meanwhile, it took us like an hour to get there, and it's like, it, at the most, it would have taken us like twenty minutes if we had taken surface streets. Anyways, I don't know why I just went off on that, but it really that really that really was setting the tone because when we got there, we saw a bus come back because we were the third group that day, and the the we thought it was the second group coming back, but no one was smiling like everyone was all bitter, and we're like, what the hell is their problem? They just saw the set of General Hospital. Why are they all annoyed? So we get there, and this lady who I didn't know who she was at first, she was the because she's a producer. I didn't know that she even, uh, I thought she, maybe she worked for the people putting on the convention. Maybe she worked for the actual studio. Maybe she worked for ABC. I didn't know who this woman was. Uh, and she was like, oh, you know, oh, you guys are running late. I can keep, I can keep my tour short if you'd like. And everyone was like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. We waited so long for this. You, we want every freaking second. <laughs> and, and I, Listen, I agree 100%. Like, if we had to miss out on some stuff at the actual convention because we were at the tour, I'd be okay with that. So I went and I... So she, so her name was M.K. Weir, and she's a producer, and she told us lots of stuff about daytime television. Now, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the stuff I already knew. But it was still cool to hear someone else say it, right? And then the last 10 minutes, she let us just go free on all of the sets and have so much fun. I was taking pictures like a crazy person, and I had so much fun. I So check out on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to be posting the pictures I took on the set. It is awesome. It is incredible. I had so much fun. So, And I want to say thank you to um, General Hospital for opening the set for us that day. And thank you to MK Weir for doing such a good job. And not just that. So when I was done with my running around, I took her aside and I just started talking to her because before she worked at General Hospital, she worked at Days of Our Lives. So we talked about Days of Our Lives as well. Um, and uh, she gave me some tea that is now, she told me that Ari Zucker had left the show and that hadn't been announced yet, now it has. But I was like, I was devastated, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was really upset. But I wasn't surprised because I think they're writing Nicole like an idiot and she's not an idiot. Okay, anyways, that's that's I'll say that for days of our lives. Okay, so back to so we we end up getting back to the convention, right? And so many of the stars were there, right? So we now here's the thing about the convention though. So if you wanted an autograph from a celebrity, you had to pay twenty five dollars per person, and not just that, but you also had to buy whatever it was that they were autographing. Okay. Now, personally, I don't give a fuck about autographs. I really don't. Now, as a, and I will say this too, as a gold ticket member, you get a certain amount of autographs for free. I could give a shit about autographs. I really don't because anyone can fake an autograph, right? I mean, hello, I was Peter Pan, but do you think that I actually did the, I shouldn't, did I just say that? I, well, oh well, if Disney sees it and I get in trouble, oh well, but you know, when I did autographs that said Peter Pan, I, you know, Obviously, I wasn't in the movie, Peter Pan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't think autographs are anything. And plus, if I came home with any more crap, I uh, that would be too much. That would be too much. So, I, I'm over that. So, so I didn't, so all of that stuff. And then, if you want a picture with any of the celebrities, you have to pay $40 a pop. $40 per celebrity. So... I really, I mean, I probably could have afforded to have my picture taken with lots of celebrities, but I, just out of principle, paying $40 for a photo is a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is a lot. So I got, I got one photo opportunity who, with my birthday buddy, Billy Miller, and we took a really cute picture. It's really cute. So you'll get to see that too, because I want to post that as well. It's super cute. Um... Yeah, because that's all I could afford. I mean, shit. And not just that. Also, no food breaks at all. They had everything scheduled tight. And they did not give you any time for food. Okay. 
so anyways, the panels were incredible and it was great. The best panel was actually uh, Billy Miller, Kelly Monaco, Roger Howarth, and um, oh, and Matt Cohen. Th those four were hilarious. They were hilarious. Um, it was very, it was impressive. And it what was also cool was that they had a lot of um, celebrities that don't normally do soap press, like Roger Howarth, Maurice Bernard. And there was a lot of uh, controversy as to whether or not he would show up because, you know, he suffers from anxiety and he's also bipolar. So people work, but he showed up and he was lovely. He was absolutely lovely. Um, it was hosted by Laura Wright and Matt Cohen, and they were great. They were so awesome. Um, every, and, uh, let's see, Valentin, okay, he, he's not as tall in person as he looks on television, whereas Billy Miller is the opposite. He looks kind of short, but he's actually very tall. So, you know, uh, but he's way cuter in person, um, Valentin. He's way cuter in person. He's totally hot. Um... And then all the people that you expect to be have fierce personalities did, like Michelle Stafford, Nancy Lee Gron, all those people. They were all great. Um, anyways, it was just a, it was a fantastic. I had the best time. It was so awesome. So please keep an eye out for the pictures because they're going to be great. So thank you so much for logging on today. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Angel Benton. And that's also the same name on Instagram too, Angel Benton. And that's where you'll, you'll see a lot of the pictures on Instagram. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Uh, hashtag GH to talk General Hospital. You can also hashtag Pump Rules to talk Vanderpump Rules because that will be next. And uh, have a great time. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.